Ancient Egyptians held cats in high esteem. These majestic creatures were not just pets, they were symbols of grace, elegance, and power. The Egyptians believed that cats possessed a divine essence which made them worthy of reverence and adoration. Cats were revered for their grace and hunting skills. Their ability to move silently and strike with precision made them invaluable in protecting food stores from pests. This prowess in hunting was seen as a reflection of their divine nature, further elevating their status in society. They were associated with the goddess Bastet. Bastet was one of the most important deities in the Egyptian pantheon, embodying home, fertility, and childbirth. She was also a fierce protector, warding off evil spirits and diseases. Bastet, often depicted with a cat's head, represented protection, fertility, and motherhood. Her image was a common sight in households, temples, and public spaces, serving as a constant reminder of the protective and nurturing qualities that cats symbolized. Cats were so intertwined with Egyptian culture that harming one carried severe penalties, sometimes even death. This strict protection underlines the deep respect and almost sacred status cats held. They were considered family members and guardians of the home. The Egyptians mummified their cats. This practice was not just a sign of affection, but also a religious act, ensuring that the cats would accompany their owners in the afterlife. Mummification was a meticulous process, reflecting the high regard in which these animals were held. They buried them in elaborate tombs. These tombs were often filled with treasures and artifacts, signifying the importance of the cats in both life and death. The presence of cat mummies in these tombs highlights the belief in the eternal bond between humans and their feline companions. This practice highlights the profound spiritual connection between humans and felines in ancient Egypt, Cats were not only protectors and companions, but also spiritual guides, playing a crucial role in various religious and cultural rituals. The veneration of cats in ancient Egypt is a testament to their early integration into human society. This deep bond has transcended time, influencing how we perceive and interact with cats even today. The legacy of the Egyptian reverence for cats continues to be felt in modern culture, where cats are still celebrated for their grace, mystery, and companionship. While often linked with Egypt, cat domestication likely began earlier in the Fertile Crescent. This region, encompassing parts of the Middle East, witnessed the rise of agriculture. The storage of grain attracted rodents, which in turn attracted wildcats. Farmers likely tolerated these wildcats. The cats provided a natural form of pest control. Over time, a mutually beneficial relationship developed. This proximity between humans and cats laid the groundwork for domestication. The domestication of cats was likely unintentional. It was driven by mutual benefit rather than human design. As humans settled and farmed, they created environments rich in rodents. Wild cats, naturally drawn to these areas, found an abundance of prey. Humans quickly recognized the advantage of having cats nearby. Cats kept rodent populations in check, protecting valuable crops. This mutually beneficial arrangement gradually led to closer interactions between humans and cats. Cats' rodent control skills made them valuable companions on trade routes. As humans began sailing and trading, cats came along. They protected stored grain from rodents, which were a major problem on ships. Cats were prized by sailors. They kept ships free of vermin. This ensured the safe transport of goods. This role further solidified the cats' place in human societies and facilitated their spread across the globe. Section 5, Asian Connections, Independent Domestication While cats spread from the Fertile Crescent, evidence suggests independent domestication in Asia. Asian civilizations, particularly in China, have long histories with cats. Genetic studies indicate that some Asian domestic cats descended from different wildcat subspecies than their European counterparts. This finding suggests multiple domestication events. It highlights the cat's global appeal and adaptability. Cats integrated into diverse cultures, evolving alongside humans in different parts of the world. Section 6. Medieval Misconceptions, From Reverence to Superstition In this section, we explore the complex and often contradictory relationship between humans and cats during the medieval period. The reverence for cats continued into the early Middle Ages. Cats were admired for their grace and hunting prowess, often depicted in manuscripts and art as symbols of protection and good fortune. 
However, by the late medieval period, cats, particularly black cats, became associated with witchcraft and bad luck in Europe. This shift was influenced by growing superstitions and the fear of the unknown, which led to cats being unfairly targeted. This shift in perception had tragic consequences for feline populations. Cats, once revered, were now seen as omens of misfortune and were often chased away or mistreated by fearful villagers. Cats were persecuted, often killed out of fear and superstition. In some cases, they were even put on trial and executed, accused of being witches' familiars or agents of the devil. This dark chapter in feline history demonstrates the fragility of the human-animal bond. The once thriving cat populations dwindled, leaving many medieval streets eerily empty and overrun with pests that cats once controlled. It serves as a reminder of how societal perceptions can dramatically impact animal welfare. Today we strive to correct these historical wrongs through education and advocacy, ensuring that cats are treated with the respect and care they deserve. Modern shelters and welfare campaigns work tirelessly to protect and rehome cats, highlighting the importance of compassion and understanding in our interactions with animals. Section 7. A Shift in Perspective – The Rise of the Pet Cat Fortunately, the negative associations surrounding cats gradually dissipated. By the 17th century, cats began to regain their status as beloved companions. They were increasingly appreciated for their companionship and pest control abilities. This shift in perspective marked the rise of the pet cat as we know it today. Cats transitioned from utilitarian working animals to cherished members of the household. Section 8. The Victorian Era Breeding and Feline Fancy the Victorian era witnessed a surge in cat fancy. Cat shows became popular, people began selectively breeding cats for specific physical traits. This era saw the development of many of the cat breeds we know today. The Victorian fascination with cats led to the formation of cat fancier organizations. These organizations established breed standards and promoted responsible cat ownership. The Victorian era marked a turning point in how we view and interact with cats. Section 9. The Science of Domestication Genetic and Behavioral Changes The domestication process has led to significant changes in both the genes and behavior of cats. Domestic cats are genetically distinct from their wild counterparts. They exhibit a range of physical and behavioral traits that distinguish them from their wild ancestors. These changes include variations in coat color and pattern, body size, and temperament. Domestic cats are generally more sociable, playful and tolerant of humans than wild cats. Section 10. Modern Companionship Cats in the 21st Century Today, cats are one of the most popular pets globally. They have secured a place in millions of households. Cats provide companionship, amusement, and even therapeutic benefits to their human owners. Our understanding of cat behavior and needs has grown. This has led to improvements in cat care and welfare, we continue to learn more about these fascinating creatures. Section 11. An Enduring Bond – The Future of the Human-Feline Relationship The relationship between humans and cats has spanned millennia, evolving through various stages of history and culture. From their revered status in ancient Egypt where they were worshipped as deities and symbols of protection, to their place as cherished companions in modern homes providing comfort joy and companionship to millions of people around the world, cats have left an undeniable mark on human history and culture. They have been featured in art, literature, and folklore, symbolizing everything from mystery to independence. As we move forward, it is our responsibility to continue to appreciate and care for these remarkable creatures. By understanding their needs, such as proper nutrition, regular veterinary care, and mental stimulation, and respecting their unique nature, which includes their instinctual behaviors and territorial needs, we can ensure that the human-feline bond remains strong for generations to come. This bond is not just about companionship, it is about mutual respect and understanding, creating a harmonious coexistence that benefits both humans and cats alike.